feel like I went to hell and back to protect them and the people in this room. There was an attack carried out on January 6th, and a hitman sent them. I want you to get to the bottom of that. Powerful emotion in Washington today as first responders spoke about the events of January 6th and the insurrection attempt at the U.S. Capitol. And while Congress works to get to the bottom of what led up to that deadly day, some Arizona lawmakers are downplaying the events of January 6th. Team tells Bram Resnick now with how Arizona's elected representatives on both sides of the aisle are reacting tonight. As the officers shared their horrific stories today, Republican Paul Gosar of Flagstaff was portraying the attackers as the victims. Democrat Ruben Gallego says Gosar should be investigated for his alleged role in the insurrection. USA! USA! They were under attack. This is how I'm going to die, defending this entrance. By their fellow Americans. These are political prisoners who are now being persecuted and bearing the pain of unjust suffering. Across the Capitol, Republican Congressman Paul Gosar of Flagstaff defended the attackers. Another Arizona Republican, Andy Biggs of Gilbert, was backing him up. Victory or death! Victory or death! Convicted felon Ali Alexander was an alleged plotter of the insurrection. He said Gosar and Biggs helped him. Biggs has denied any role. We haven't heard from you, sir. What did you and Ali Alexander talk about? Gosar still hasn't answered that question. Do you think there's enough evidence there for him to be subpoenaed? I do. I think the, the committee is going to have to make that determination themselves. Democratic Congressman Ruben Gallego of Phoenix said the committee investigating January 6th needs to look beyond that day to figure out how it happened. These are the connections we have to talk about. It's not January 6th. It's what happened before January 6th and what happened after January 6th that we should really be exploring. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.